Welcome back to Imtex 2023. We're here on the Renishaw stand and oh my God, have we got a show for you. They've got some fantastic technology on the machine tools, in terms of uh, machine building components, in terms of inspection on the equators and CMM systems. So we have a lot coming up. But first of all, I'm going to be talking to Paul here, who you handle the whole of the Indian um, Renishaw uh, company here. Yeah. And how's the show been so far? What do you think is so important about India as a, as a manufacturing house? Well, I, I think there's a huge change in the Indian industry now. You know, there's a lot of investment coming from the outside. There's a lot of in, up, up and coming tech coming into the marketplace. Where you know India is going to be a big growth engine for us in the business for the next five to ten years. It's a huge opportunity today. Absolutely. And why do you think that's happening now? I mean, obviously there's there's various geopolitical drivers which are a bit ah. sensitive. But do you, what do you think? Where do you think the Indian Indian ingenuity comes from? There are a lot of machine tool builders here. Yeah. There's a lot of tech that maybe people outside of India might not have even heard of or even think exists. Yeah, I think there's a big change and shift in the Indian industry. You know, it's been dry. It's a huge local market, huge domestic market in, on its own to start with. What we're seeing now is a big drive towards export. And by exporting, there's only going to increase the quality, only going to increase the reliability of their own equipment. So that's a big change that we're seeing. There's, there's huge hot foreign investment coming in, partly because of some of the, the China and China Plus One policies, the US-China trade wars. is is only going to help India. Uh, you know, India's going to take over some of that 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 uh, manufacturing sector from other other Asian markets. So it's Absolutely, and, and when you're designing and building a precise mechanical product, you need to know a the parts you're making are correct, sure. and b you need to have all the electromechanical encoders, servo drives, amplifiers. And how do you think Renishaw fits into the that that growing that growing product base and market base? So we pay we pay a huge part of the uh, overall you know uh, manufacturing ecosystem, whether it's on machine probing, whether it's tools for the machine tool builders themselves, whether it's CMM and, and gauging on the production line. So our whole thing is to bring metrology to the masses. And you know, traditionally, uh, the, maybe the Indian uh, manufacturing system, when it only is focused on domestic market, has not focused enough on quality and reliability, and now that's a huge change that we're seeing, and, and you know, Renshaw will play a big part in that. I love that. We were just going live at a different stand earlier where they're trying to bring five axes to every machine shop. You're trying to bring good inspection practices in process inspection, not just uh, CMM inspection, to the masses as well. I love it. Yeah, and you can have the best machine tools in the world, but if you don't measure properly, you don't feed back into those machine tools, you're not going to get the best product out of them. And, you, and our whole thing is that make the right product first time, and we can help you do that. Absolutely, thank you very much, Paul. Now, without further ado, we're going to go and look at one of the machine tools they've got on the stand, which is showcasing three different brand new Renishaw technologies. So I'm going to be talking to uh, my good friend over here. Uh, yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, yeah, so, doing so this is Ven Venkatesh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. you. So we're going to be talking about this machine today, and inside the machine, unfortunately, there's so many customers here. Imtex, it's very busy, loads of people are interested in the technology, they get enthusiastic, they get involved. But on the machine, what three technologies are you showing, first of all, please? Actually, see, first of all, we are showing uh, the NC4, Non-Contact Tool Setting Pro. Um, yeah. So this so tool, tool Setting Pro, which can be measured as low as 30 micron diameter tool can be measured with this particular Perfect. Instrument. So, and this is brand new. So, this is about measuring um, different tools in process. When you change a tool, you want to make sure the tool is not broken. And when you use a tool heavily, you want to make sure that it's not wearing too much as well. But this is actually new technology. You've changed uh, some aspects of technology. How? What have you changed? Yeah, actually, earlier we used to have a red laser. Now we changed it to the blue laser, which is having a uh, lesser wavelength so that lesser beam can be passed so that I can measure 30 micron less than as low as even I, even I cannot see it from naked eye. That much low, the smaller diameter tool can be measured with this uh, system without affecting the tool geometry. Wow, is, that's, that's amazing. So, so, the, so the change to blue light has made a big difference in the, the, uh, the size of the tools you can measure, but you can still measure, even with the red lights, you can still measure very down to like very tight micro machining type tools. What's the minimum diameter you can measure of, a, of like a micro micron, drill? 30 micron and uh, the tool to tool measurement is very accurate with this being it is smaller. I can measure very less tool as well as very high accurate. Okay. And we have designed uh, the cycle in a such a way that it will measure very fast and it can uh, reduce the cycle time, machining time and it can produce a very good part inside the process. One, once, uh, one way it is uh, showing the in-process measurement so that parts cannot be rejected in the process. 
And that's so important also for machine collisions because if you break a drill bit, and then that means that the next three tools get broken, that's a lot of money costing, but it doesn't, and that used to cost you more in time, but now with a faster tool, uh, tool breakage checking, then that means that you can make sure your machine is safe, but also not spend too much time doing it. I love it. So that's, that's the first piece of technology, please, Venkatesh. Um, what's the second piece of technology you're showing off? Yeah, I'm showing a second piece of technology is uh, the scanning pro, okay, uh, which is print. Uh, used earlier, the technology is touch trigger. It used to take longer time, and it used to take only minimal points on the machine. Okay, if Sprint Pro will take multiple points and we are having uh, different um, uh, softwares whether I can even measure blade, I can check machine health with this particular probe as well as in process tool. Very quickly I can check with this, uh, high accurate uh, diameters can be measured and compensated automatically into the uh, machine so that it will give the good quality products quick cycle time, uh, Renisha is always uh, reducing the inspection time, okay, so that machine is meant for uh, cutting, so that productivity can be increased. By using Sprint Probe, we can quickly measure the part, and uh, with quality, without compromising quality, we can produce good parts, and so that customer can be benefited from this technology. Absolutely, thank you, very well explained, Venkatesh, thank you. I think maybe Renisha, I guess your first job is, uh, if you're trying to get people interested in inspection is to convince them they need to do it, which is true for every person who makes a component. The second thing you need to convince them of is that it won't cost them money and time, is that you can do it quickly and efficiently to keep their businesses successful. Um, and there is one, uh, there's one more piece of information, piece of technology, which is the brand new, it's a new RMP40 probe. And this, you, you used to have to do a special trigger logic cycle, right? How have you changed the technology and developed it new so you don't have to do Actually, that anymore? Actually, we normally working on the customer feedback. If they find something difficult, we try to make use of the technology and we will be making it very convenient for the uh, for customers. So we develop the OptiLogic into the Pro, so that uh, the, this is a smartphones. Everybody is having uh, in the uh, even in the shop floors. Yeah, so use that technology. Their phone out. Ring the phone, change the settings, use it on the machine very quickly instead of setting machine off switch thing. That is taking longer time. We are reducing that time so that conveniently customer can use the probes in different machines. And uh, if you want to add one more probe into the machine quickly, they can add and get the benefit from the. Uh, technology. Fantastic. And Paul was mentioning another thing there is, there is which is not maybe so quite as sexy, but it's uh, reduced, uh, increased battery life. Yeah. The, along with this, we have taken uh, measures the battery battery life. If even though if it is running every um, uh, three months, four months, if you they want to machine will switch off, that will takes uh, ten to fifteen minutes. Now that also we are taken into consider increase the battery life to three to four times now. And four times means it will come in a year. So sometimes they will forget the battery inside the probe. Yeah, like exactly. Like that, it has increased the battery life, so customer will be happy now with this uh, new version of probes and of the logic. They forget it's battery powered, it's powered just by magic, baby. Okay, and now we're going to be going over to Ashutosh, uh, who's going to be talking so to you about the equator, equator system. 300, which is an inline gauging machine, which inspects the part at the point of manufacture. Is it in producer? So can you please elaborate about the features of this Equator 300? Yeah. Thank you, Astos. You're absolutely right. Equator is being used as inline gauging solution, and here we're displaying Equator as a means of automation, right? This gives you amazing capability. You can make the parts, and at the point of manufacturing, you can check whether they're right or not. So you can, you can check the critical to quality parameters very, very quickly, and you can also feed back to the machine, and this is what is needed. Because in the high volume production, such as say, when you're making these automotive parts and many other parts, you need to be able to make sure that you're making parts right at that speed. And the equator is a solution that allows you to do that. And with automation, because automation is right now the main thing. But automation, if you are not able to control your process, is garbage in, garbage out. I jokingly said that if you use robots and not controlling your process, you will end up making more rejection. So how can you minimize that? You need to be able to control your process, have the measurement capability to 
check them as fast as possible and give the feedback to the machine itself. And that's where Equator plays a massive, massive role. A lot of players in India in automotive, whether it is two-wheeler, four-wheeler, cylinder blocks, cylinder head, crankcase, crank shafts, differential cases, EV sector, they're making a lot of use of this. So this is really changing the game for everyone in India. Fantastic. So Equator itself is an intelligent machine, inline gauging machine, plus it comes along with the automation. So it becomes uh, super interesting here, right? Exactly. So uh, Sanjeev sir, can we, uh, we, I can see a 5-axis CMM machine, so can we go there and discuss about that as well? I would like to know about that in detail. I think uh, here you have uh, upgraded this with uh, new features like uh, multi-sensor probe. Right. So there we saw an inline gauging solution which is on the shop floor. Now there, here it is a solution for the quality room, solution for the CMM. And as you know, Renisha is pushing the boundaries in the CMM inspection. We are the pioneers. So we have developed a multi-sensor probe head which we call Revo 2 now. And this gives us the immense capability to the manufacturers to inspect very, very fast and adds to the capability as well. So with this probe head, because this is a platform, so with this you can have the, all the tactile and all the scanning measurement. Then we have the additional probe head with which you can do surface finish on the CMM. Then we have additional probe head with which you can do the video measurement. Then in this MTEX, we are displaying an ultrasonic thickness probe. So you can measure thickness of components such as hollow aircraft blades, the turbine shaft, landing gear. So now you imagine all of these capabilities, all of these measurements are possible on one CMM, on one machine, reducing the requirements of so many other measuring equipment. So with this, you get high speed. So if you're producing very, very component with a lot of more speed, now you have the capability to be able to inspect that fast as well. Second, it gives you amazing capability. So features which were very difficult to get access to, you can do very easily with Revo. Because otherwise you have to have multiple setup, multiple provide. You may see with other technology, you have racks and racks and racks. You don't need that. And this becomes so easy to be able to inspect. Because if you can't inspect, you can't make. Fantastic. And this is what we have done. No, I totally agree with you. This is a single platform. You can do multiple things. And it's really good for the ROI as well. The people who, customers who are investing in the CMM, they can do so many stuff with this upgrade of uh, multi-sensor probes. And I think you keep upgrading these products on uh, every now and then, right? Very true, very true. Imagine, you are building up your production capability and you are buying, say, 50 machine, 100 machine. Would you be, would you be investing in, say, 10 CMMs, 12 CMMs? Obviously not. Obviously not, right? So there has to be done something. So this allows that when you're adding up to your inspect production capabilities, adding up a lot of production machine, this allows you a CMM where you can inspect very, very fast as well as you are able to do a lot more things. So you, you end up saving space, you end up saving many other things, you become more, I think, more energy conscious as well. And end of the day, you're able to inspect very complex part because with the, with, with the development, your complexities are increasing, your part shapes are increasing, and you don't want to constrain your designer. If you have the ability to inspect those complex things very, very fast, then you can make those things. And that's where Rennie Shaw has added a tremendous capability. It has really pushed aerospace industry to the limit. Now we are seeing this even in automotive. I can give an example, certain cylinder blocks, certain cylinder head which used to take around 40 minutes, 50 minutes with this, it can be done 15, 20 minutes. Imagine how much more productivity you're getting. And that was not possible before. So as always, uh, it's fun. we are, this is going, we are going to celebrate our 50 years in Rennie Shaw. And this shows what we have done in these 50 years. We have learned from a lot of customers and get understood what they require, what the market require, what the manufacturers require, and that allowed us to develop all these capabilities that what we brought to the market. Outstanding, sir, outstanding. I think I'm super impressed with this product, and you, every in exhibition you are bringing new and new, newer innovations for your customers. That's a fantastic uh, One effort. more thing I wanted to check. Here you're seeing a 
component for EV, which is a stator component. Let me tell you, these stators are very, very difficult to make. If you look at this hairpin, the gap of the hairpin is very, very minimal, right? Other, if you can't make them if you don't have the measurement capability. And Vivo 2 system allows you that capability to be able to measure that. Because it's the more compact stator you can make, the less power it will consume. And that is what you need in EV. So it is even helping EV segment quite a lot. And that's what we are displaying here. So you're absolutely right. We are able to do that because we're working with partners in the industry, working with manufacturers, working with CMM OEMs, and they're helping us to understand the requirement, bring these fantastic products to the market. Great. Fantastic, sir. Thank you. Thank now you. I will uh, hand over to Rowan, and who is going to tell us about encoders here? Hello, and here we're going to be talking about calibration and encoders today. I'm here with my friend Sanjay. Sanjay yeah. So, um, first of all, Sanjay, calibration. What is calibration? Can you show me which products you're going to show? Come this side. Okay, let's, yeah. let's, let's follow. Let's follow Sanjay. He knows he knows the stand better than I yeah. do. <coughs> so, calibration is, is is an essential activity that you need to be doing, uh, whether you are a machine tool builder or you are CNC machine user. Now, what Renish offers is basically two pieces of equipments, ball bar and laser interferometer. The, what is being shown here is a, a ball bar equipment. It's a health check instrument that you know we recommend any customer who have CNC machines to be used. Uh, first thing is, uh, what you can do is, by running this ball bar test for 10 minutes, you will be able to know the health of your machine. It, it, once, once you spin this ball bar on a CNC machine, and you know it runs on a, in the background with the software, you will be able to collect a lot of information about your machine, the, 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 the relationship between the axis, different axes. So it's X, Y, Z, Z yes. maybe a rotary axis as well? No, ball bar uh, will not be able to do that, but you know, ball bar is basically establishing the relationship between X, Y, Y, Z, and X, Z planes. So you will get to see list of errors. You will also get to see what those errors means and you know what is the intensity of those errors and you know why these errors are coming into your machine tool. So you have a bit of analytics of it, and then you can play with the with the with the software and see by doing by making changes in which parameter you will be able to bring back your circularity to a certain you know in, in a controlled manner. So that's the main use of the ball bar. So as an end user, this can be used by the CNC users plus. Any machine tool builder, when he builds a machine, before he ships the machine to the his customer, he need to have a ball bar test report because it's a, it's a part of ISO requirement. And any customer who is buying CNC machine would obviously ask for you know ball bar report. So that's one is that is one that is part of being as, as a mandate. But you are transporting the machine from different place. You you're manufacturing it some place and you're sending it to some other place. You don't know what happens when the machine gets transported. So obviously once the machine arrives at customer place, you want to run a ball bar test. So this is basically a main use of the ball bar. And there are multiple side usage. Side usage is not the right word. You can use the ball bar to identify how good your machine machines are. You may have machines with a different life, five years, 10 years, two years, one year. But you, you will have a perception that, you know, I have a five years machine old, so five years machine, that may not be giving me good accuracy, but while the one year old machine would be giving me good accuracy, but your perception could change if you run a ball bar test, you might see exactly opposite results. So you can qualify the machine, you know, which is my class A machines are, which are my B class machines, which are my C class machine, based on their accuracy, based on the ball bar report, and plan your production. So essentially this is the ball bar equipment that we are talking about. Then we also have a laser XLAT. You know, it's, it's, it's a main tool being used for calibrating the CNC machine. Typically, the cycle is ball bar, laser, and ball bar. So you done the, you do the ball bar test. Then you get to know there are certain parameters which you cannot uh, you cannot control or you cannot cali you cannot compensate. So those for those errors, you need to really go for the XLAT calibration equipment. Then you compensate and again run a ball bar test. You get to see you have a complete closed loop, uh, closed loop of your machine and then you can move forward. So again, the XLAT laser interferometer is being used by the machine tool builders, mainly machine tool builders and also large machine tool customers, right? So this is this is another piece of equipment it's called XK10. We call it a laser alignment equipment. This is basically used when you build the machine tools. You know, the machine tool builders, they want to identify 
the biggest inaccuracy in their machine, whether it is, you know, you can see here LM guideways put on a slide. So here is an example where you can check, you know, multiple inaccuracies in the machine. How is your flatness? How is your squareness? How is your parallelism? So we have a fixed laser unit and a moving lens. So based on that, you can collect and, you know, you can have feedback. So you, this will help you in your uh, building your machines faster, quicker, you, you, uh, by taking advantage of this equipment. So this is basically calibration uh, uh, equipments that Ranisha can offer. So this is part of our offer for machine tool builders as well as end users. Wow, that's Sanjay, that's amazing. You know the calibration products absolutely like the back of your hand. What an absolutely fantastic explanation of both the ball bars and the laser inferometers, which are not just for machine builders, they're for end users as well. But talking about machine building now, I mean, there's something new here that we've never seen before from Renishaw. What, what are we looking at? Uh, yeah, uh, good question. Actually, what you can see, I mean, you know, uh, more, one, one of the things that we know which, is, which gets missed by many of our customers is our motion control uh, solutions. Typically, people know as a very strong machine, metrology company and very strong in our healthcare solutions, but this is one thing which gets typically missed. So I just want to use this opportunity to tell our customers that we have a complete range of encoder solutions, whether it is magnetic or optical, we offer complete solution within those two main technologies. So what is new in encoders for us in Ranisho is the 40s. This is one of our recently developed product, which is now already got a lot of uh, um, you know, a lot of machine tool builders have adopted this technology. This is, uh, a, a, we call it an enclosed encoder. So this is used by the machine tool builders. You know, a lot of machine tool builders worldwide, want in, when they want to really enhance the accuracy of the machine, so they want to adopt this technology of enclosed enco uh, encoders. And you can see on the encoders, you've got a, ca uh, a capped, capped end here, yeah. and the encoder the encoder body is fully yes. sealed yes. as well. Yeah. So it, it's a very unique to any show. It is not, you know, we, we don't follow any a, a, any other technology that are, they are available in the market. So it is a completely enclosed, tested under very severe condition. It has passed through all the vibration tests. It has passed through all the coolant tests. You know, we have come out with the flying colors on this, and you know, it's it's not just you know um, uh, being spoken about the, the specifications of the system, but it's already been adopted by the machine tool builders. We have quite a few machine tool builders in India, and not just metal cutting machine tool companies, but even the people who are making grinding machines have adopted. And we have a case story already published. You know, they they've shared their experience. Very very happy with the performance of Fortis, and we look forward to really see more adoption of this technology in the country. I love it. And one last point on Fortis is you can see the millimeters, the meters, yeah. the millimeters, yeah. the micrometers, yeah, and yeah, also yeah, the yeah, nanometers. Yeah. We, we are going into the level of nanometers. We have a complete range of uh, Fortis here and you know which can meet different uh, accuracy requirements we have three microns and you know we can offer three microns we can uh, offer five microns uh, accuracy scale then we can also offer a bigger length you know right from say smaller 640 millimeter up to three meters so you know you ask for it we will offer within those uh, specifications wow. so watch this space maybe at Imtex 2025 you'll see a lot of Indian machine tool builders using yes. hopefully maybe for the yes. Renishaw encoder system so thank you very much thank Sanjay very I appreciate much. Thank your you. time thank you thank you Right then, so now that's it. So that's it for the Renishaw stand. I'm going to join my good friend here again, Ashitosh. Now, we've seen so much different, so many different bits of te technology here, from, from the CMM to the equators, the machine tools, the probing, inspection. It seems like Renishaw have a some kind of solution to measure any problem, to measure for any problem the customers might have. But there seems to be a split between machine builders and end users. Do you think that end users? It seems like they're getting a little bit more. I don't know what the right word is, um, sophisticated, that they need the, the higher accuracies, the equipment that actually before only pre machine builders would be using. Yeah, exactly. I think the end users are getting really smart solution, you know, which, uh, which can use the data and improve their processes, right? And also increase their productivity. For example, I saw the equator with the automation. It's an inline gauging system. Like, uh, for example, if you are making a part, you need a lot of gauges. Rather than ha having a lot of gauges, you can just have one equator 300, which will do all the job for all kind of parts, right? And with that, it comes with automation. So with, for end user, there is a lot of value addition, which Renisho is doing with all these kind of innovative designs and products. And also, uh, when I was talking to Renisho management, uh, I had a pleasure of, uh, you know, in, uh, visiting inauguration of the tech center. So. Management is also very, very, you know, uh, bullish about Indian market and they want to solve the customers of Indian manufacturers, right? And uh, I think that has been their stress. That's why they have been investing a lot in Indian market. 
earlier there was a tech center now it is m tech and they are doing lot more things so yeah i mean i totally agree with you Fantastic. So that's been the Reddish Shaw stand here. And that's it for today. Today is what? It's, it's Monday today. Yeah. Uh, I almost forgot what day of the week it is. Uh, very exciting Monday. Very exciting Monday. MTEX 2023. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow. We'll be showing you some new, new fantastic technology here at MTEX. Definitely.